I'm here with Janet and Jack Quinn. We pulled off the side of the road to get a little stretch break and uh, met this nice couple. We started talking about plastic bags and uh, Janet used to work at a grocery store, right? I own the grocery store and I hate plastic bags because when they came out in the late 70s in our store and they forced us to go with plastic bags, I hate them. I want to go back to paper bags or cloth bags. I don't like plastic bags. And, and how was that transition? Because I, I think a lot of people don't even remember what it was like before plastic bags. What was it like before plastic bags? Did people get, you know, did people get by? Absolutely. And when they bought a heavy stack of groceries, we double bagged the paper bag and it was fine. And these plastic bags, you put stuff in it and you get in your car, they roll over, the stuff falls out. What do you do with them when you're done with them? I just hate them. I hate they plastic bags. A, they claim there's a place in the Gulf of Mexico that's loaded with plastic bags. Millions and millions of them in the, in the Gulf of Mexico. And if it gets in around uh, seafood, it's hard. It's bad for the sea creatures. Plastic bags. Many of them die from it. Several years ago, we took a trip to Texas. And if you've never been in Texas, I call it the plastic bag state. Because as you're driving down the road, all you see is plastic bags along all hanging the fences, on the fence. hanging on the fences. It's ugly. Get rid of plastic bags. Well, we're, we're heading down to Texas, actually. So we'll, we'll get the, a chance to see all this. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I didn't realize there were plastic bags in the Gulf of Mexico. That, that's oh, yeah. disturbing, given that they were probably mixed with oil as well at this now, point. Yes. So a lot of people tell me, oh, I can't get rid of plastic bags because I use them as a trash can liner in my bathroom. So you remember before plastic bags. So what was the solution back then? We didn't have as much garbage as we do now for number one. But what's wrong with putting your garbage in a paper bag? I don't see any difference. I mean, if they're, if, if they're in plastic bags, they go in a landfill. And they, how many years does it take for a plastic bag to deteriorate you know well the experts say about a thousand years it takes a thousand years for a bag to deteriorate so so back then you guys had just regular trash cans right right, yeah. right. like you didn't have to even use paper or plastic well, right we yeah. mo sometimes use paper but yeah most of it was just trash cans and when you go into a grocery store and you have plastic bags and a good example and I don't like to use the name is Walmart they put one thing in one bag and two things in another bag and you go home and you have 30 bags what do you do with them yeah, what do you do with them? Take them back they and are, recycle them, sure. that's all. <laughs> plastic bags and plastic bottles. you got to do away with it. A bag monster. I'm not sure what a bag monster is, but if it's you, I'm not a bag monster. <laughs> <laughs> the Jack, are you a bag monster? Oh, no, definitely not a bag monster. I don't want to look like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jack and Janet... I really appreciate your time. Thank you for, uh, for speaking with me out here on the side of the highway in Oregon. Grants Pass. Huh? Grants Pass, Oregon. Thank you.